Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Sturtz. We're in lesson 8.4, um, and we're going to be graphing using vertex form today. So go ahead and open up your student journals. Um, let's get ready to take some notes, and here we go. Only one vocab word today, um, vertex form. We can go ahead and ignore even and odd functions. Um, we're going to skip that for this section. So our one vocab word today is vertex form. And we need to use this form because now our graph is shifted horizontally. So we're going to move it left and right. We've been moving it up and down. Today we're going to be moving it left and right using vertex form. All right, and it says where a doesn't equal 0, so a cannot be 0. Um, the way we find our vertex using this form is our vertex is at the point h, comma, k. All right, h moves it left and right. K moves it up and down. Um, so our axis of symmetry today is going to be at the point x equals h. So whatever our x coordinate of the vertex, same as before, that's our axis of symmetry. That's where our parabola is going to be reflected over. All right, so our core concept, basically what this, all these words are saying is whatever h is, that is our horizontal translation. All right, now notice in our formula we have x minus h. Okay, if we think back before, we've talked about this before, but it almost we almost think as h as moving the opposite of what we see. So if it's x minus 2 in our parentheses, that's actually going to move to the right 2. We're thinking opposite. Okay, if it's x plus 2, that's going to move to the left 2. All right, let's do it. We need a graph. All right, and we have now a fraction, 1 half. Parentheses x minus 4 squared. All right, and we can still think of everything as before, the same as before. 1 half, it's positive, so our parabola is going to open up. It's 1 half, so it's a vertical shrink, so it's going to be a little wider than normal. Um, but let's go ahead and graph using, we're going to find our vertex. Now notice there's no k at the end. There's no, no number added on after the parentheses. So it's not going to move up or down. It's just going to move left or right. So when we find our vertex... That, we said, is going to be at the point h, comma, k. Well, there's no k, so k is going to be 0. We can add 0 onto anything, and it won't change it. So our vertex is going to be right here. And we said we think opposite, so if we see minus 4, our vertex is actually plus 4, comma, 0, because there's no k. All right, which leaves us at our axis of symmetry is at the point, or the line, x equals Okay, so let's go ahead and graph our vertex. We're going to go 4, 0, so 4 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to plot our point there. We're still going to make our xy table. So we can plug in our vertex as our first point. Let's pick 2 to the right, so 5 and 6, just like before. Um, and we're going to plug it back in. So we have 1 half. Parenthesis, let's plug in our 5, 5 minus 4 squared and we need to solve. So parentheses first, order of operations, very important. 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 times 1 half, well, anything times 1 is itself, so we get a 1 half there. So we have 5, 1 half, and let's plug in 6. We have 1 half, and now we have 6 minus 4 squared. 6 minus 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 1 half times 4, or 4 over 1. Remember when we're multiplying fractions, let's put that whole number over 1. Multiply straight across, top and bottom. 4 over 2, that is going to be 2. Okay, we have our three points. Let's go ahead and graph those. So we have 4, 0 already. Let's go over to 5, 1 half, and 6, comma, 2. And go ahead and draw in our axis of symmetry. That's our dotted line. Ooh, it's kind of tough. Small graph here. Dotted line down the middle. If we reflect over that dotted line, we're going to have one on the left. And this is two away from our axis of symmetry, so we're going to go over here. And we have our parabola. Okay, if we do a little check, it's a little wider. That's good because our A value is less than 1, greater than 0. So it's a vertical shrink. Um, it opens up, like we said, and it moves to the right 4 because this minus 4 moves it, shifts it to the right 4 units. All right. If we do one more example here, 
Um, again, now it's plus 5, so our vertex is going to be at the point negative 5 because we think opposite. Negative 5, 0 because there's no k, so we could say it's plus 0, which gives us our axis of symmetry at the point or the line x equals negative 5. Okay, we know this graph's going to move to the left 5. Now our xy table, we're going to plug in negative 5, 0. So if we go ahead and plot that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, put our point right there at 5, 0. We're going to 2 to the right, so negative 4, negative 3. If we plug those points in, um, let's see, I didn't mean that line there. If we plug in negative 4 plus 5 squared, well, negative 4 plus 5 is 1, 1 squared is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. And if we plug in negative 3, negative 3 plus 5 squared, negative 3 plus 5 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. Okay. Now we're going to plot those points. We have negative 5, 0. We have our axis of symmetry at negative 5. Here's our dotted line right down negative 5. So we have negative 4, comma, 2. And negative 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're going to reflect. So we reflect on the other side of our axis of symmetry. It's 2 away. It is 2 away. And we have our parabola. Okay, and if we do our checks, it opens up because the 2 is positive. It's a little narrower, so it's a vertical stretch because that 2 is greater than 1. And it moves to the left 5 units.